Hi, I'm Rebecca from Amber Makes and I'm going to make, show you how to make a really cute little gift envelope. All you have to do, make the envelope, pop cash or cart gift cards inside for the perfectly wrapped gift. Just continue watching and I'll show you how. Trace round the envelope template from your pattern and cut it out. Take the main fabric that you've cut out already and the lining fabric. Place the template with the curved corner at the top and the cut off corner at the bottom. If your fabric has a pattern or a motif that you want to be in the centre of the envelope when it's finished, make sure that's in the centre of the template. Now take some pins and pin the template to the main fabric on all four sides, making sure that it stays straight as you pin. Now take your scissors and carefully cut the fabric along the outside edge of the template all the way round, making sure you cut carefully round the curved corner and the bottom straight cut off corner. Now you've cut it out, you can remove the pins to make the envelope outer. Put this to one side. Take the lining fabric and place this right sides up. Again, put the template on top with the curved corner at the top and the cut off corner at the bottom, making sure that any motif or pattern lies straight across the centre. Pin into place as you did with the main fabric and cut it out all the way round. Stitching the side seams. Place the envelope outer right side up and turn it so that the cut off corner is at the bottom right. Now take your tape measure and in the top right hand corner measure quarter of an inch down from the top on the right side and mark it with a pin. Now take your tape measure again and in the bottom left corner take your tape measure and mark a quarter of an inch in from the side with a pin. Now take that bottom right corner and taking the top of the cutout corner as you can see fold it upwards so that matches exactly with the pin that you put in earlier. Pin this folded together edges together down the side and stitch that in place all the way from the top to the bottom. Then you'll have a seam that looks like this. Now open it out and take the other side of the cutout corner and fold this upwards to meet the pin so that the fabric's right sides together in exactly the same way as you did before. Match the corner with the pin then pin the folded over edges together. And sew them as before. Your envelope's beginning to take shape now. The first thing you need to do is to take a small pair of scissors and just snip off those bottom folded corners. This will help your envelope to lie flatter when you open it out in a minute. So lay the envelope flat. The bottom cut off corners need to sit right in the corners. Press the seams open with your fingers to start with just so that you can arrange it to make sure it's all lying flat and those corners are sitting right in the corners. You can then take your iron and press those seams open. Now you're going to make the lining in exactly the same way using the lining fabric marking and pinning as before. The only difference is, is that you need to leave a gap unstitched. About one and a half inches is okay. This will be the turning gap. Make sure you reverse stitch either end. 
assembling the envelope. Turn the envelope outer so it's right sides out. Then place it inside the envelope lining so that they're right sides facing, pushing out those bottom corners. Now you need to pin it together all around that top raw edge. First of all, match up the seams so that the seam of the outer and the seam of the lining sit exactly on top of each other. You'll get a neater finish if these match exactly. So pop a pin to join those two seams together. Now take another pin and pin those curved top edges so that they match up. These are your anchoring points. Now pin the raw edges together all the way round. Make sure that the raw edges are matching. You'll find that these match together really nicely because you use the same template to cut out the fabric so they're exactly the same size. It's worth putting quite a few pins in here as it'll be easier to sew if everything matches up nicely. Now it's pinned together, you can sew it together all the way round the edge. Once that's sewn, you now need to do a little bit of trimming. On that top curved corner, just trim the seam allowance down by about half. It will just help the egg to remove the fabric bulk from that section and will help you to have a neater point to your envelope. Now where these seams meet, you've got a lot of layers. So if you just trim them off slightly, I just cut a little V out of the seam. It just reduces the bulk a little bit and will help the whole thing to lie flatter. Just take care when you're doing this, do it really carefully so that you don't cut into any of the seams. If you do, don't worry, just go back and restitch it. Now to help get a neater finish, it's better if you press the seams open at this point. You can't press them open and flat, but so just press them as you can, as you can get them as flat as you can. Turn it so you've got the turning gap from the lining. Push your fingers inside and then turn the whole envelope right sides out through that gap. Whilst your fingers are still inside there, push out that top curved corner. Then push out those bottom corners of the outer. Now with the turning gap on the lining, make sure the edges are folded under and stitched together close to the seam edge. Once that's stitched, Push the lining inside the outer, making sure that those bottom corners are lying right next to each other. Now to give it a nice finish, we're going to top stitch around the edge. But it's really important at this stage that you get the seam lying right on edge. So just roll it with your fingers so that you can't see the lining from the outside and the outside from the lining. And then press it all the way around, doing the same thing. It's worth taking time here because you'll get a neater finish when you come to top stitch. Top stitch it all the way round the edge once you've got it nicely pressed. Adding the fastener. Now your envelope is all top stitched and ready. Fold the flap over onto the back and give it a press so it's nice and flat. Take a pair of press fasteners, you'll have a male half and a female half. Take the male half, oops, that's the bit with the point sticking out. And place that just at the top, centrally of the top of the flap and stitch that into place. Once it's stitched, if you like, you can sew a button on the other side, that's just to decorate and it helps to cover the stitching of the press fastener. Press that hard 
and you'll see it leaves a little indent so you can see where to sew the other half of the press fastener. So take the female half, place it exactly over that centre point and stitch it into place. Once it's stitched, you close the press fastener and your gift envelope's finished. So all you need to do now is take your gift cards or maybe some cash or any other small flat item that you want to gift. Pop them inside, close the press fastener and your beautiful gift arm envelope is ready to gift.